friends, it's Odie here. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I hope you're all doing well. So today I'm going to attempt to film a day in the life video. Um, I know it's been a while since I've posted anything. I feel like that should be my catchphrase because I seem to say that in all my videos, but it's true. It has been a while since I've been able to post a normal video on my channel. Uh, I've also seen that I've gotten quite a few new subscribers on this channel so thank you to those of you that are new here I really appreciate you subscribing and I am so sorry for the lack of content on this channel uh, it's not because I don't want to post we unfortunately contracted the dreaded Rona in early April and um, you know I'm still trying to catch up with my you know projects and motherly and housely duties so yeah it's just been very busy um i'm also trying to catch up on sleep but i really appreciate all of you thank you for sticking with my channel and being patient with me hopefully soon i will get myself uh together so uh in terms of what i'm going to be doing today i'm going to be going to the mall which is exciting I figured, you know, since we just got over the Rona, it's probably the safest time to head to the mall. I am in dire need of new glasses. Uh, these ones have done me well. They've lasted me for quite a while, but I've worn these every day, all day for like at least the past seven years. So as you can imagine, these are pretty gross looking. So yeah, gonna get new glasses and um, yeah, that's that's pretty much the most exciting thing. I'm also gonna be going to the mall by myself. I'm gonna drive myself there. So I'm excited to have some alone mommy time. But right now I need to wash my face and I just thought I would share with you my very simple, very easy skincare routine. There was a point in time there where I kind of got caught up in like the skincare craze online where people were like, they had like a 10 step skincare routine. I never had 10 steps, but I definitely had more steps than I do now. And um, I think I actually did some more damage to my skin. So I've had to scale it back to, you know, give my skin a break and hopefully get it to calm down a little bit. But yeah, I thought I'd share with you guys some pro well, First, let me share some products that I have used that have not worked for me. So there are two cleansers that I have tried and that uh, are not for me. So I have the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser, this one right here. Um, this one I just don't like because it, it doesn't lather. It's a very creamy type cleanser and I just don't feel like it, it really cleans my face. So unfortunately, this is a no for me. I'll see if I can pass it on to a friend or a family member. Another one here that I tried, this one is the CeraVe SA uh, Cleanser. Uh, this one, I did not realize that it had salicylic acid in it. I use like an acne system kit that already has salicylic acid in it. So I don't wanna overdo it and so because of that i have stopped using it so yeah next i have some uh face moisturizers that i had tried but did not work for me um sunscreen breaks me out whether it's on my body or on my face every sunscreen that i've tried has broken me out so i really don't wear much sunscreen like out and about in my daily life when I go on vacation, I do put on the sunscreen. For example, if I'm going to Mexico, if I don't wear sunscreen, I'm gonna burn. So I just wear the sunscreen and just deal with the body and face acne. But um, yeah, I tried the, which one did I try first? I think it was this one. I tried the CeraVe Facial Moisturizer. Uh, this one has SPF of 30 and yeah, unfortunately, it broke me out. So then I tried the Cetaphil, oh, Cetaphil, Cetaphil? Uh, daily moisturizer. This one has a, a SPF of 15 uh, and uh, it still it still ended up breaking me out. So um, I'm still gonna use these like if I know I'm gonna be out in the sun for a long period of time I'm just gonna put these on and deal with the acne afterwards but yeah I really I'm having a really hard time finding a facial moisturizer that has SPF 
that doesn't break me out. So if you guys have any suggestions, uh, please let me know down in the comments because I'm a little bit desperate. What else? Oh, I tried this thing, which was a total disaster. So this is the Cetaphil Optimal Hydration Serum. This one. Uh, it seemed like a good idea, but this totally messed up my skin. I don't know what the heck, uh, I don't know what the heck is in this that uh, caused so much chaos on my skin but yeah I know it was this because like I've mentioned I've kind of you know shrunk down my skincare routine uh, and this was the only new thing that I had been trying and it totally just broke me out it was like those little like uh, white pimples all over my face also on my neck I'm still this one I have two here that uh, I've had for like a month. So yeah, unfortunately, this really messed up my skin. So yeah, I think that's all in terms of what I've tried that didn't work. So I'll let you know now what has been working. For face wash, I've been using the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. This one is nice. I feel like it makes me feel, you know, clean, uh, but it also doesn't dry out my skin. So I like this one. And for face moisturizer, I have the Cetaphil Daily Hydrating Lotion. So this is a pretty safe face lotion for me. I just wish that it was a little bit more moisturizing. I did recently purchase this one, the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizer. So when I finish this one, I'm going to try this one to see if, um, if it's a little bit more hydrating. And also, I'm hoping that it won't break me out, but I will I will let you guys know. I have two eye creams that I use or that I go between. So I have the Hydrating Gel Cream from Cetaphil. So I wear this one when I'm not wearing any makeup uh, because I don't like how this makes my concealer look. It kind of, I don't know, it makes my concealer a bit patchy and also sometimes it, it pills a little bit so I only wear this when I'm not wearing any makeup and then I also have the Cetaphil Optimal Hydration Eye Serum that's what it looks like and this one is really nice I really like this one I can hear my husband in the background I have a hard time filming when he's home I think he's gone okay let's keep going so uh and then for face mask i have the origin original skin retexturizing mask i do this maybe once a week and honestly i don't think that this does much <laughs> for me uh but i still use it because i have it and um, this was pretty expensive it is the small uh the smaller version of uh the face mask but um but yeah unfortunately i don't think it does much for me so i won't be buying this again i will be trying something new whenever i finish this and then also let me show you my acne kit that i use so at the moment i am using the peter rothman's uh uh what is this uh, clinical skincare acne clearing system so it comes with the face wash then I have here the Max Complexion Correction Pads and the AHA BHA Acne Clearing Gel. Now this is very expensive, but I only use this maximum once a week. Sometimes I use it once every two weeks because it is very, very strong. Um, I will also say that the first month I was using this, I saw great results but after that I noticed that my skin was getting it wasn't as clear as it was that first month now since having my 10 month old I have not slept he doesn't sleep through the night so that means I don't sleep through the night so I haven't gotten a good night's sleep in 10 months and when I don't sleep my skin is crazy so it could be like a mixture of things I'm not sure but uh you know I'm, I'm trying to finish this up. I did buy this from Sephora. This is the Dermalogica Target Acne and Premature Skin Aging Kit. So I will be trying this next to see if maybe this works a little bit better. Um, but yeah, for me, 
I think at the end of the day, I just need to go see an actual dermatologist. And that's something that I'm trying to make happen. So I will have to keep you posted um, because at this point, I'm just, you know, I'm just over <laughs> my skin. I feel like I have tried everything. Um, I have spent a lot of money on my skin and I'm still dealing with issues. So I need to go see an actual expert. So yeah, anyways, I flapped on for a very long time. Oh my gosh, a very, very long time. So I'm gonna go ahead, wash my face and uh, yeah, get the day started. So All right, it is makeup time. So before I start doing my makeup, I just wanted to show you my little uh, eyeshadow palette rotation system I got going on over here. So I picked this, um, I think it's a mail holder or organizer. I got this from Walmart in their um, office supply section. And yeah, it's perfect, as you can see, for holding my eyeshadow palettes. I try to rotate my palettes uh, once a week, once every two weeks, depending on, you know, how much use I get out of them. And I have to say, I have really been enjoying doing that. Sometimes, you know, when you have a larger eyeshadow palette collection, you tend to forget certain palettes. So this is a great way of using all of the palettes that I own. And it's been fun. It's, you know, made doing my makeup a little bit more exciting. So yeah, this week... I have my Pacifica Cosmic Reflect in rotation, ColourPop Smoke Show palette, and the Everyday Smoky. Now, these palettes have already been sitting there for two weeks, and I will probably have them in there for another week just because, as I've mentioned, uh, April has been a crazy month, just haven't done much makeup. So yeah, I'm going to keep this in here one more week and try and uh, use each of them uh, a couple more times. Uh, today I will be using the Pacifica one. This is what it looks like. I have used this palette a few times before. This is not going to be my first time using it. So yeah, I, um, I do have my mind made up about this palette. So I will let you know my final thoughts, my review of this once I'm done my makeup. So... Yeah, let's get started. All right, so I think I have my camera centered. So yeah, I was I was planning on reviewing a new foundation that I recently purchased. It's actually a high-end foundation, which is crazy for me because I have never ever in my life purchased a high-end foundation. I've always been able to get away with drugstore ones, but that is not the case anymore. I feel like as I get older, my skin has just become more finicky. So I caved and I went ahead and purchased a very expensive foundation. Um, and yeah, I thought I would try it out on camera. But uh, I just realized that I'm going to be wearing a mask for probably a couple hours. And I really don't want to wear foundation underneath my mask because I've done that before and my skin did not like it. And as I mentioned, I'm trying to be as nice and gentle to my skin as possible. So instead, I'm just going to do a little bit of eye makeup, some blush, some highlighter probably, and uh, I'll have to call it a day. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get started.
I'm finished with my eye makeup. Not my best work, but uh, whatever, it's gonna have to do. Um, what else did I use to finish off my face? So I used my new Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner in Indigo. Just bought this on their closing out sale. Uh, for my lashes, I used the Essence Lash Princess and the Maybelline Lash Sensational. And for eyebrows, I use NYX the Brow Glue. Love this stuff. It really, it really works well for keeping my brows in place. And also the e.l.f. Wow Brow in Deep Brown. This one right here. Uh, in terms of the eyeshadow palette, it is okay. It's not my favorite. Um, the mattes, uh, there's only one, two, three, three mattes, and they are okay. Um, there was a lot of kickback with uh, liftoff. Hemp uh, doesn't have a lot of pigment. I tried to build it up, but it wouldn't really build up too, too much. Um, the shimmers, they are okay. They're not super metallic or shimmery the way I like my shimmers personally. I also feel like I'm hitting hard pan in most of these shimmers, so that's also a little bit disappointing. This was $27.99 Canadian, so that's a little pricey for uh, drugstore makeup. Um, so yeah, for the price, to be honest, I'm not super impressed with this. The color story is lovely, but the formula of the shadows is just not my favorite. I just feel like I can get other um, eyeshadow palettes that are more affordable and that work a lot better than this, like Juvia's Place, ColourPop, and uh, BH Cosmetics, if you can still buy online. I'm not sure. I heard they were closing down. Anyways, I'm going to get my clothes on and I have to get going because I'm running late. So, All right, please ignore my dirty mirror. I did not get a chance to wipe it down, but I just wanted to show you my outfit of the day. Uh, I'm just wearing a pair of black skinny jeans, this long sleeve hoodie t-shirt that I got from Jasper, and also this faux leather jacket. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure this is from Guess, I believe. Um, so yeah, my outfit of the day. Now I'm gonna go maybe eat something before I leave because I'm getting hungry and then I will talk to you guys in the car. So see you soon. What was that? Sorry about that. Man, is it windy outside and it, uh, it messed up my hair, of course. Um, I'm about to head out here. I just wanted to give you a little driving update. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I got my full-on license last year it was August 31st uh, before then I did not drive very much I did not practice I did not like driving it was really really scary to me um, but you know it only took a pandemic and being pregnant in a pandemic to push me to finally getting my driver's license I don't drive just anywhere um, there's only certain routes that I feel comfortable <laughs> driving by myself with the kids and that's to my mom's house my brother's house the mall uh, the grocery store um, if there's some place new like a new route that I want to uh, drive. I usually have my husband drive with me in the car first so he can tell me you know what lanes to get in. Uh, he can make sure that I don't miss any road signs. I still get a little bit nervous um, you know just before I get in the car. Uh, I do get a little bit of nerves but once I am driving, once I'm on the road, I, I feel pretty pretty good. So yeah I'll just uh, I'll check in with you guys uh, when I get to the mall so just one sec here. All right, so I've made it safely to the mall. The car is off. I am parked as far away as humanly possible from any other car. I'm hoping that when I come out of the mall, I will still be parked by myself because I don't know why people gotta park beside me, especially when I go out of my way to park, you know, in a spot where I'm all by myself. But anyways, um, it shouldn't be too bad because I've um, I can just pull through. I don't have to back out of my parking uh, stall. Um, yeah, parking lots, they make me the most nervous. So anyways, I'm going to go in, uh, get my new glasses. 
In terms of like style, I think I want something similar to what I have on. These have, um, I like these because you can still see my eyes. You know, I like to do eye makeup. So probably we'll get something similar to this, I'm thinking. But I won't know till I actually look at the glasses. So yeah, gonna head in there. I probably won't film in there because I'm too embarrassed to film inside the mall. We shall see. I'll, I'll take pictures of the different types of glasses I try out because I do want to send photos to my husband so he can help me choose. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna head inside right now. <music> All right, so I am done with the mall. Luckily, no cars have parked on either side of me, so yay for me. I ordered my glasses. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the pair I chose, but they won't, I won't have them for about two, two weeks, they said. They'll email me when they are in and I can pick them up, so I will show you in a future video what they look like. Well, obviously, I will be wearing them. I tried my best not to shop. <laughs> but it's been a while since I've been at the mall by myself. Uh, so I did cave in a little bit. I bought two pairs of pants. Um, one pair is, in, what is it, faux leather leggings from Aritzia. And then I also bought a pair of uh, jeans from uh, Levi's. They're like that, what's the style? Um, I think it's like the boyfriend style jeans. And that's it. I know I did a closet declutter not too long ago and I got rid of a whole bunch of stuff. And it's, I think it's been over a month, I think, since my closet declutter. So I have a pretty good idea of what I'm missing from my closet. I'm just missing just a few staple pieces. Those pants are two of the staple pieces that I wanted to add to my closet. I'm definitely not planning on just like buying a whole bunch of clothing that's not how I want to um, go about you know my wardrobe I want to pick out specific pieces that are versatile so I can get you know quite a few different outfit combinations without having a whole bunch of clothing you know just sitting in my closet so anyways that is the plan um, I will see if I can show you the pants when I get home we'll see turns out that this vlogging thing is a little bit time consuming more time consuming than I had anticipated so yeah anyways I'm done at the mall I'm gonna head home and maybe I will talk to you guys later we shall see hello hello again friends I am home now I've been home for a while actually uh, I had I ate some leftovers because I was starving and now I wanted to show you the pants that I purchased at the mall. <laughs> um, I don't think I'll try them on because I'm holding my little fuss butt over here. But yeah, let me let me show you the pants that I bought. Like I said, about two pairs, a pair of jeans and then a pair of faux leather tights. So let me get them. Okay, hopefully this looks okay. But these are the jeans I got from Levi's. They were on sale, lucky for me, yay. And they're just like a loose fitting type jean. I wanna say it's like a boyfriend style jean, but honestly, I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> I haven't bought jeans in a while, but these seem to feel nice, they fit well. Glad I was able to get these on sale. Now let me grab the other ones. Okay, and these are the faux leather tights. These ones are from Aritzia. They were a little bit expensive, but they feel nice, they look nice. 
so um, hopefully they last me for many years to come because if they don't I'm gonna be pretty mad because <laughs> I paid top dollar for these so yeah that's it for for clothing I think oh I wanted to show you I've been taking collagen powder for mainly my hair and I have to say that uh, oh, 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 uh, 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 you want me to eat your fingers mm -hmm. um, and I uh, uh, and I have to say <laughs> that I think it's working. The shedding has subsided quite drastically. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, it's not as bad as when I was going through postpartum hair loss, but I've always had excessive shedding um, ever since my late 20s, early 30s, and I definitely see that um, I don't have that much shedding anymore. I can't say that I have like extra hair growth. The hair growth that I do have, I think that's just, you know, some of my hair growing back from the postpartum hair loss. But if I can prevent excessive shedding, that's great. I also think my hair is growing. Um, I feel like it's a lot longer than it was um, the last time I showed my hair. So yeah, let me show you the powder that I'm using right now, one sec. Here we go. Okay, don't mind the mess in the background. <laughs> uh, things are uh, crazy at the moment in my home. But anyways, this is the collagen I am using right now or taking uh, from Genuine Health. Now, this is not my favorite because even though it says there's no flavor or it's unflavored, this stuff tastes gross. <laughs> But I still drink it because I think it works. So I'll put in a uh, a picture of the collagen I was taking before I bought this one. Um, I will go back to that one once I'm done this tub because, yeah, the other one had actually no flavor. This one does have a funky flavor that I don't like. So yeah, really, really excited about this collagen thing. It It seems to work, so I'm happy about that. Um, I also wanted to show you what I've been, well, a project I've been working on that has prevented me from doing <laughs> more um, DIY videos. One sec. Okay, again, don't mind the disaster <laughs> that is my arts and crafts area. I know it needs to be clean, but this is what I've been working on. I feel so bad for... Uh, my friend who asked me to do this for her, but um, yeah, I'm covering the face because it is portraits and I just don't want to You know put it out there in case she doesn't want it out there, but yeah, I'm more than halfway done I just really need to sit down and finish it. I'm just a very slow I'm a super slow artist and especially when it comes to these like um, photorealistic portraits they just seem to take forever well I seem to take forever because like I said I'm very very slow but as soon as I am finished this I will finally have more time to film DIY videos and I do have a DIY video uh, in the works so over here oh don't mind my COVID tests let's move those there we go so yeah you know I have it all prepared and ready to go <laughs> I just really have to finish that um, portrait drawing first but um, yeah let me switch you around um, but yeah I think that's it for my ooh, would be little day in the life vlog <laughs> um, we'll see if I even post this thank you guys so much for watching and until next time please take care and bye